you can see that they, there is no aim offset, we are moving toward the velocity and the aim offset is not reacting in any way. If I hit 1, nothing changes because it set up the same things. However, if I hit 2, the character will start looking towards the camera location. No matter what his velocity, he will try to match the aim offset of the head towards it. But if I hit 3, now if he start aiming with clamp at the location we are trying to uh, pinpoint. So we can uh, show you how desired rotation at angle works like with values of 90 and 5. So now he will aim up to 90 degree and starts turning when hits 90 and stops at a 5 degree uh, threshold. So uh, you can see that the aim offset is also very smooth and we haven't done any smoothing on the animation graph, right? So how this is being uh, controlled is through the animation uh, itself. So inside the default uh, class, you have setup and you have those three values. So target frame rate is the testing frame rate you are testing your animations at. So this is just a value that is being used to um, calculate um, how how the uh, value being normalized to a frame rate should look like at a certain frame rate. So right now, if we hit play and I tape uh, show, well, mm, start FPS, we see that air max, uh, oh no, it's T max FPS, we can say 60 and will be constant start unit. And now we are hitting 60 FPS and whatever we see at 60 FPS that looks good will look good at any FPS once we finish with the setup. Uh, so uh, lean smooth is something I will explain later, but now aim smooth is the one that's responsible for the aim offset. If we hit it to a higher number, let's say, I don't know, 12 instead of 6, you will see that the aim offset is a lot faster, a lot more responsive, but still uh, very much... Uh, visible and uh, it switches quite nicely. However, if we set up it to zero, it will stop interpolating, it will become absolutely instant. So now I'm offset, it's exactly as we calculate per frame and any blends will be just instant. Let's go back to our character. Let's change our rotation method to rotate to velocity like, like it was. Hit play and now bam! It was just one frame. And to see it even better we can go into our details. Let's find post process. Let's go into motion blur and let's say that our target FPS is zero which makes a uh, frame rate Yeah, so it's uh, a lot better motion blur based on our actual uh, life frame rate that we have right now. Okay, so the, the default value is 6, it's not bad, let's say that 10, it's a bit faster, aim offset. Uh, yeah. Okay, so what if we don't want to use aim offset or what if we want to use different aim offset? Uh, it's very simple. We already have a value for that. Let's close this one. So here, if we want to choose from one of those, um, you know, at runtime, what we need is going to aim offset and say aim offset type, get it, do a blend, pose, aim offset. Okay. connect this to the final pose and here you can right click and say aim look or none and we can actually okay it has to have default so we got this 
and now we can save this pose and say final blend we can move this here this here we can say final blend two times or actually even three times or actually even four times uh, and now one will connect here one will connect here default will connect here aim is this one look is this one and none is just this one without any aim offset so those two why we have all four because you can't connect one of those to to other at the same time so you can have only one to one relation between saved poses and any animation blend poses so we have to use them multiple times okay we got this let's make it a bit more pretty uh, let's move this here, this, here, this, here, this a bit closer if possible, and this here. Okay, let's move everything. Okay, and now we have different aim offsets uh, that can be switched at runtime. And how to switch them at runtime? Uh, let's say 0.25. And this is the first time we're going to use um, actual inputs on our event graph to drive some logic. So let's say that on one, on two, and on three, we're going to do some debug stuff. So what we want to do is just take the component and want to set up an offset. And uh, any events that I wanted uh, users to use are in the HR group and they start with setup. To have aim offset, FPP, base pose, overlay pose and rotation. So let's just focus on this one for now. Let's connect it to one and let's say aim offset is none, nearest, uh, 90, camera based and okay, the rest stays as this. <coughs> on two we want to say uh, look and we want to say still nearest and it is camera based it is important because if we turn off camera based it will no longer uh, make this vector that we are using in the uh, IK node look at so this look at location vector it is driven by the um, camera based uh, look at lo location and third one will be set up aim offset let's connect this one and we'll say aim not camera based clamp 90 and this stays the same okay so let's now hit oh let's go here let's do one more thing we don't need this anymore um, and by the way you don't actually have to do this like call the uh, parent it's when you inherit from a C++ class this is being triggered automatically so you don't even have to do that uh, okay let's go back here here we don't have to do anything and here in the default let's just change look to none by default compile save and now if we hit play okay you can see that they there is no aim offset we are moving toward the velocity and the aim offset is not reacting in any way if i hit one nothing changes because it set up the same things however if i hit two the character will start looking towards the camera location. No matter what's his velocity, he will try to match the aim offset of the head towards it. But if I hit 3, now if he start aiming with clamp at the location we are trying to uh, pinpoint. Okay. 
with proper blend with proper blends however on three you don't see those line traces because the camera is no longer doing traces and now it's actually taking the raw input of our um, controller rotation so this is a lot better for a shooter game when it's uh, more direct okay so now reading those values some of them uh, they are exposed to um, the animation blueprint so inside our animation blueprint we, uh, we can actually say that aim offset type and we can do a switch and based of our switch we can uh, take our setup values like uh, aim smooth and we can set it and let's say that for aim we want it to be zero for none we can say it's zero but for look we want it to be six so now that we play uh, if I had hit two I have smooth look at but if I hit three I have absolutely instant aim offset for the aim at type so I can have different behavior of um, different behavior of how smooth animations run based on uh, gameplay mechanics.